Hi, this is Michael Altos, and we're back talking about the endocrine system, diabetes, thyroid, and OB, and this is part two. Let's talk about the thyroid hormone, and thyroid hormone is called levothyroxine. The medication is called Synthroid. Thyroid hormone binds to receptors that are found in numerous cells throughout the body, and this increases basal metabolic rate by as much as 100%. Thyroid hormone in your body will regulate energy use and enzyme transcription. It will increase heart rate and contractility. Now, thyroid hormone has a relatively slow onset of action of 6 to 12 hours, with a peak effect not for 10 to 12 days. Now, if you give IV thyroid hormone, T3, that can have an effect within 72 hours, but I've never given that, and I'm not sure that any of you ever will either. Patients who overdose on thyroid hormone will have symptoms that mimic hyperthyroidism or thyroid storm. Heart palpitations, abdominal pain, nausea, tremor, anxiety, confusion, insomnia, weight loss, and increased appetite. If, if the overdose is severe enough, symptoms including fever, hypoglycemia, heart failure, and coma can occur. And the treatment for thyroid hormone overdose is supportive care and beta blockade. Patients who are hyperthyroid need to be treated with antithyroid drugs. The two drugs you're most likely to see are propothiouracil, or PTU, and methimazole. These drugs inhibit thyroperoxidase, which is an enzyme in this synthesis of thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone gets its iodine in the thyroid gland. And these drugs inhibit incorporation of iodine into the tyrosine residues that make up thyroid hormone. But they don't block the release of thyroid hormone that's already been synthesized. One other action of these drugs is to block the peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. T4 is a less active form of thyroid hormone, whereas T3 is much more active. And this conversion occurs outside the thyroid gland. PTU is the only drug that has this property. These drugs can be used to treat chronic hyper hyperthyroidism, and they can also be administered to patients who are experiencing acute thyroid storm or thyrotoxicosis. Note that these drugs are not available in parenteral formulation, so hopefully your patient can take drugs by mouth. If not, they can be crushed and given through an NG tube, and people have also described rectal administration as well as crushing and filtering the drug and giving it IV. The side effects of these drugs are rash and occasionally agranulocytosis. Methimazole should not be used in the first trimester of pregnancy because it is a teratogen, but otherwise it seems to be the more commonly used drug because PTU has been known to cause severe hepatic failure. So the only time I've seen PTU being used is in pregnant patients. Going back to thyroid storm, as we said, the first line drug is beta blockade, and we spoke about propranolol and esmolol last time. These drugs prevent the symptoms of hyperthyroidism, the hypertension and the tachycardia especially. Beta blockers are the first line therapy for thyroid storm, and propranolol has an additional advantage that it also can block conversion peripherally of T4 to T3, whereas esmolol does not. Other treatments for thyroid storm include the antithyroid medications, as we discussed just a moment ago, and iodide drugs like sodium or potassium iodide. To round out the discussion, other treatments, other pharmacologic treatments of thyroid storm include glucocorticoids, which can also block peripheral conversion of T4 to T3, and acetaminophen can be given to reduce the hyperthermia. That's our discussion of the thyroid gland. We'll continue in the next video.